Hello, my name is Rio Kasi. I'm an undergraduate student of Texo College, Timapur. I'm currently in the final year of BA English. Today we have with us our honorable guest, the co-founder of Texo College, Mrs. Shasin Lee Lori, who is also the wife of the founder and principal emeritus of Texo College, the late Dr. P.S. Lori. Many of us know her as the lady wife of our principal and the co-founder of Petso College. But what we don't know is that she is also a mother of three, a stronghold for the college, a fitness enthusiast, and a mother figure for the entire Petso family. Today, this session is aimed at discovering who and what Mrs. Sussin Lee is. Welcome, ma'am, to our talk session. It's an honor. So, without any further delay, let us go straight into the conversation. What was your education life for women, girls during your time? During my time, the women have to work to help the parents, and they used to go to feed, and they used to do housework, and they used to wait to support their family. And so, because of that, many cannot go for education because they need help in their family and so they used to help uh, the family members right. so they cannot proceed to the, their education. S some of them has completed their education but many of the women they cannot complete because of the, uh, the work at home mm -hmm. and to help the parents mm -hmm. so they used to and they cannot continue their study. Mm -hmm. We would also like to take a little peek into your childhood days. Where did you attain your early education? Okay, uh, my education I studied from Zaminia Government High School. Mm -hmm. I mean uh, Zaminia Government LP School. So I studied up to class six. And after that, I went to uh, Christian English School for two years, and I studied up to class eight. My parents, they don't have uh, education; they didn't study at all. Mm. So I'm the first generation of the, in the education in my family. Oh, that sounds so great. Now we would also like to know something, some origin about the college. Whose idea was it first to set up a college and what was the initial plan? Was the plan perceived before or after shifting to the USA? The setting of the college, I suggested to my husband um, because he got a Fulbright scholarship and he has finished his uh, PhD also. So we thought he is the right person and in fact he always uh, is desired to come back to Nagaland. So when we return, he works in other places. So from there, we thought it's a God plan. So we decided to uh, open the college instead of the college. Some good. Some so good. Okay. Uh, what were your initial dreams for the college and are those dreams being fulfilled at the present time? Yes, our dream was, uh, I can say it's a, we have fulfilling our dreams right. because um, we want to give a quality education and we want to give a more uh, employment. employment and right now we have uh, like a hundred uh, employment mm -hmm. and besides that we have a student more than uh, lost 5,000 graduate student so slowly we are fulfilling our dreams right. okay <clears throat> now um, doing something different and new always attracts challenges and back in your time to establish a college, it must have been a huge deal. 
So with regards to that, can you share your contributions as the co-founder and as a wife of a proprietor of a college dealing with challenges and testing times while establishing a college? Okay. The setting of the college is not easy. Right. So we work hard and we do um, construction, we cut the jungle, and we used to, I used to help the cooks also in the mess hall. And I used to drop my children to school. And after dropping them, I used to come back and attend the office. I used to be office assistant. Sometimes I used to be like a, a, like a chokidar working, all sorts of things works. So it's not easy. So you have to play multiple roles, right? Well, yes. I think college. Mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Shasin Lee also has a diploma of cosmetology from the Murfreesboro Beauty School, Illinois, USA. Now, ma'am, can you share your journey and experiences as another woman during your time at the institution? Uh, studying cosmetology is is uh, a big uh, challenge for me because uh, I used to meet so many uh, different country uh, people like uh, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. like Malaysia, Japanese, and Chinese. So male and female, we used to study together. Mm -hmm. And because of I take up uh, cosmetologies. I want to support my family because um, we need a uh, financial also. So I used to work. After I finish my study, I work and I used to support my family in the state. So um, were you the only Naga, Naga student at the institution? Yes, at that time I was uh, the only one. So, um, being the only Naga woman, did you face any kind of discrimination? Uh, there was no discrimination. Either male or female, we always uh, happily we used to get along. Right, that sounds so great. Okay, now um, we will go to the final question. And personally, I'm eagerly waiting for the response of this as well. Based on your experiences at the institution, what were the major differences you noticed between the U.S. and India's approach to education? Educa education system is uh, really different from India to America because uh, my education is in India and my children, they are in uh, abroad, U.S. So the difference is here in India, we used to most of the time we used to stick on the books mm -hmm. and we we'll have to study at home also. We'll have to take tuition. Mm -hmm. We'll have to memorize uh, the notes and all. But in the state, it's really different. We cannot teach our children at home. Right. They told us not to teach them. And they don't have any memorization also. And the more they have a uh, practical mm -hmm. and uh, different activities. activities. So they learn from uh, different different activities, mm -hmm. not only in the study, in mm -hmm. the books, but uh, they used to learn so many things mm -hmm. from the activities. That sounds so great. Life is quite short if every day we are engaged in our purpose. As we have heard and witnessed an amazing and inspiring journey of our guest, Mrs. Shasimle Lori. We realized that her contribution to education in Netherlands rooted a strong foundation for the upcoming generation, structuring their educational aspects and further elevating their dreams and their ambitions. Thank you, ma'am, for letting us explore some phases of your life. God bless you.